tonight, a local doctor is part of a new breakthrough in breast cancer treatment. 13 Action News reporter Gina Lazar now tells us the doctor is not going to use chemotherapy on his patients as much anymore. Ian Friday had only been married two weeks when she was given the cancer diagnosis that would change her life forever. She had surgery and a double mastectomy. And then two years later, I found out I had a recurrence. This time it was invasive and aggressive breast cancer. She had to begin chemotherapy immediately. It's kind of everything you'd think of. Uh, you get sick, you don't feel good. You have to take a lot of medication and drugs. Megan was surprised to learn that doctors have now discovered new ways to treat breast cancer without using traditional treatment that she received. I think it's incredibly exciting because what it means is that we're achieving a goal that we've looked to achieve for many years, and that is tailored therapy. That means there's no need to expose people to toxic therapy like chemo when it's not necessary because they simply will not benefit from it. What we found was that in people who were in the low risk and intermediate risk group, there's no benefit from chemotherapy. Dr. Russell Goller just got back from a trip to Chicago to discuss this breakthrough with other doctors. Nearly 70% of stage one breast cancer patients will be able to receive hormonal therapy instead of chemo. That gives us a great deal of power and more importantly, it gives patients a great deal of power to really choose their own destiny. Megan is thrilled for anyone able to use this option. I think that's incredible. I think it's amazing um, if more women are able to not have to go through that. I think that's great. Gina Lazara, 13 Action News. An elderly woman brutally attacked and left for dead is sharing her story of survival. Pictures show the aftermath of that attack. Siobhan is 80 years old and she says Sunday morning a naked man broke into her home near Charleston and Maryland Parkway. She says that man beat her, tried to rape her and shot her with her own gun. She says through it all, she had a strong will to survive. And I just kept talking to him because I kept thinking I don't want to die this way. And um, I just stay cool. She truly is amazing and police acted quickly having Siobhan look at lineups from her hospital bed and arrested this man Herbert Rogers. He is a 